food makes people happy and you don't want to take something away from somebody that makes them happy it's tough to do that and people will you know fight and call call and scratch you know to keep their food and keep their favorite foods but it's a lot you know with education and understanding what to eat and how to eat and ways to do things there's a lot of food that you can eat that's good that you can get away with eating understanding what to do uh, as far as you know fasting and as far as you know supplements and nutrients and making sure you don't over consume these foods i talked about before how we over consume meat this is a huge problem very huge problem and over consuming it's also uh, contributed to uh, dementia and Alzheimer's or what have you, uh, schizophrenia, uh, Parkinson's, and all these other brain diseases. When you overconsume, you're supposed to only consume between 400 and 600 grams of meat per week. So when you reach this capacity, you're supposed to chill out. And if you're already eating meat, you should be fasting. You should not eat meat every single day. If it's meat, if, if meat is on your plate every day, you have a problem. If meat is contained in all the foods that you eat every single day, you have a problem. This is something you have to stop. You can't just consume meat every single day unless you consume it in little, little bitty drops. Instances to where it's a small amount of uh, meat in your food that's not going to go over the, the necessary capacity of meat. You know, not exceeding, you know, 600 grams in a week. So, you know, when you really be mindful about that, that's not that much meat. If a five ounces is 80 grams. So the cookers start off with about five ounces of meat. But by the time they cook that thing down, you're going to end up with about 80 grams. So, you know, five ounces would be about 141 grams. But after the meat is cooked, you'll end up with about 80 so this is stuff we have to take into account and this is stuff that a lot of people just don't have time to be mindful of you know counting calories and grams or what have you and this is one of those things to where i'm shocked that people have not come together on as far as the food now don't get me wrong we have a lot of people protesting monsanto and all these other um you know uh purdue and these other food companies that you know been producing crazy contaminated meat that have been found to have, you know, outrageous uh, issues when it comes to food production. And a lot of people have come forward and talked about what really happens in a lot of these places. No outrage. It's just something that I'm shocked that people have not really come together on. You get a few people that's talking about it, but not enough people is really putting it out there. And too much is being promoted that's in the way. Uh, of, of what we put in our body. The most important thing that we do every day is eat. I mean, if you're going to get people, that's how you get them with the food. And they've been getting us with the food for too long. We got to really be careful about what we eat and what we're taking in and understand that, you know, it's one of those things where you're not going to be able to say, oh, well, a lot of these uh, problems, when you start having these issues with the brain, as far as, uh, you know, over consuming uh, complex carbohydrates or what have you, it is really hard to reverse these brain defects. When you start having a brain shrink and shut down and cells die in the brain, it's hard to reverse that. You know, you, you already don't have the mental capacity to do so. So it's tough, you know. So understanding what, you know, everything comes from the body anyway and what your body can do and understanding how to naturally produce these nutrients and naturally naturally produce what the body needs uh it's just stuff that people don't understand and either way you still got to put things in your body to help you do so so either way you know you have to watch what you're putting in what you're taking in uh as far as food consumption and it's easy you know it's it's easy to to just forget about it and go about your day and consume whatever you consume and eat what you like but it's something you're going to pay for down the road. And this is exactly what they want. It's something that nobody can't tell you. It's something that you have to do for yourself and put together your own plan of foods that you're going to like. Because when you do that and you put together what you like and a plan that you can live with, then you'll stick to it versus somebody telling you exactly what to put in your body that you might not like. There are actually websites and you have people who work at gyms who can give you a list. People will put together like a meal plan for people and um, give them a meal plan based on their height and weight and the type of foods that they like. 
that they can, you know, go out and get these foods and they'll put together like a whole like nine month uh, uh, food list for you that you can go and eat these foods to lose a certain amount of weight. There's all kinds of stuff out there, but I still think it's better for people to just go ahead and, you know, understand what they should put in their body and understand what foods is best for them to go and uh, eat. Again, a lot of people can't afford to go buy the, the best foods. And that's one of the problems. And this is one of the issues that just goes back to poverty. And this is something that uh, we have to attack as, you know, a group, as a, you know, a society. But um, for the most part, you know, when you go shopping, you know, it's just some stuff that you can just stay away from or be really mindful of uh, before you buy them. And understand that you are putting something in your body that is going to hurt your body in the long run, that you need to do something to account for, you know, what you just ate. You know, you need to go run, you need to fast, you need to chill for a little bit as far as eating and just stick to, you know, drinking water or soups or juicing because you ate, you know, some fried chicken or something that's not really going to be really helpful to the body. You have to, to, you have to combat that. You can't just eat the shit and then just let it go and say, oh, well, I ate it and just don't do nothing about it. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. You know what you put in your body. You have to do something to basically remedy what you what you took. So, you know, if you got bit by a snake and you've been poisoned, you want an antidote. And what people are doing is they fucking taking poison and not the antidote. The antidote is right there. It's easy for you to get the antidote, but people are not taking it. Instead, they're letting the poisons build up over time. And you got to understand that these processed meats sends toxins to the brain that breaks the brain down. And you have cells that end up dying in the brain. It's a slow process. So you're eating foods that's causing you to slowly die and cause your brain to slowly shrivel up. If you're having too many headaches, if you're having memory loss, all kinds of problems with depression, problems with energy. If you're eating foods, as I always say, if you eat food and you go to sleep after that, it's draining your energy. I just talked about this in the new DVD. But energy is everything. And it goes back to what you put in your body. It is a... A, 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 a complex thing that you have between your natural body energy and your body. So, you know, even though you have this infinite energy as I talk about, it, you know, your energy still needs your body to be right in order for it to do what it's supposed to do for the body. So you have to have this symbiotic relationship to where, you know, you make sure your body is right. Your energy will do the rest when you go to sleep and you have this, you know, this pairing to where, you know, mind body energy what have you comes together to make sure that you are you know spiritually correct but you know don't get me wrong the vegans they on to something now don't get me wrong you can find like really good uh things to help you combat these toxins and uh salmon salmon is a good meat to eat a good fish these fatty or cold water uh fishes they call them you can uh, really eat those to really get a lot of uh, nutrients. And you might not realize it now, but down the road, you'll start slipping mentally because you're not getting these nutrients. And uh, what they'll find later on, if you develop dementia and Alzheimer's, that that's exactly what happened. And you start getting this plaque build up on the brain and you start having these brain problems. But, you know, I know a few vegans that is the truth. I mean, they can outrun, outjump a lot of people, but I know, I know that they're actually getting the um, supplements and helping them get the nutrients that they bring me and not just sticking to, uh, you know, just uh, vegetables or what have you and fruits and berries and nuts or what have you. So to each his own, you know, everybody has a preference, but if you don't understand what this stuff is doing to you, uh, then you're going to have problems down the road. So now that you know, now that you have some type of understanding, even if you don't pay attention to nothing that I'm saying, go look for yourself, do the research, and understand that these people are sick fucking people. And they are putting stuff in the food. It is very easy for them to create food that is helpful for people. They can make sure that the meat is perfectly made and has all the nutrients for the brain even if it's processed, but they don't. They're not doing it. So it's sick, these people are crazy. And they're doing this stuff, you know, for a buck. They're doing this to, you know, population control, whatever you want to say. But they're doing this stuff to really, you know, get us out of here. And it's really getting people out of here. So these are one of the, this is one of the ways that they're killing off uh, people slowly. 
and we're killing ourselves slowly by shoveling poison, you know, into our brain, actually. I mean, it's crazy. And we got to be mindful of this stuff and understand that this is just one of the traps of the enemy, one of the traps of the system that is, you know, geared towards getting us out of here. It's a lot of people, a lot of people having problems with, you know, diabetes, uh, heart problems, you know, brain issues. It's a lot of people that just don't care about this stuff. A lot of people who, who just, you know, they have too much to deal with and to worry about, so they're not really focused on their own health. And that's the number one thing you have to be focused on. You go out here and you do all this work. You work so hard to survive and make a good life. It would be stupid to do all that and go through all this struggle in life just to check out of here because of, you know, some chicken. So I wanted to make this quick video to encourage people to really just be more mindful. Just one of those things to be more mindful about and be more careful about what you put in your body and uh, understand that, you know, when you go to the market, just because it's in the market, it's not good for you. Just because it's labeled organic don't mean it's organic. There are websites, there are people up there who will, people out there who actually have, you know, uh, good farms to where they will ship meat. I know that sounds crazy, but you can actually get either halal or from a lot of companies, the few companies I've actually seen, and I was shocked when I seen it, that ships clean meat. They have like all kinds of accreditations and what have you, you know, for sending you good meat. It's expensive though, and that's the problem. And they, a lot of them have monthly subscriptions to where you can't just get it every once in a while. You have to get it every month. But they'll send you, you know, good stuff. But you know, it's just one of those things to where, as I said, you have to really come to terms with what you're going to take in your body and what you're going to decide to eat and do to combat what they have done to the food. And every day, again, we take it for granted. And every day we just eat and we eat to fill that need and we eat to fill that hunger and that void. And, you know, we don't really care. But you have to start caring because, you know, I don't want to see people that I've been talking to on YouTube or Facebook or on Instagram. I don't want to see, you you know, 20 years or what have you from now, you know, with issues because of, you know, food, because of meat. So, you know, I showed you guys in Kemet with the Egyptians preparing meat. It, it was a lot more to that, um, those hieroglyphics that, that was there to the depiction, but it's something that the ancients understood as far as meat, they didn't have the problems that we have as far as chemicals or what have you, contamination to the meat. But again, you know, it's a reason why they ate meat because they understand the brain nutrients. Again, there has never been a civilization in recorded history that was vegan or vegetarian at all because their meat is needed and you need those uh, nutrients if you decide to go vegan make sure that you are getting those brain nutrients and you know you're doing something to combat not having all of them because you can't get all of them as far as supplementing them because they don't have supplements for all of them and, it, and it's weird so this is something that we're going to have to come together and combat eventually uh as far as what these people are doing to the food because if they get 100% control of the production of food, which I believe they almost have. As I said before, you have about 10 companies that control almost every cosmetic, every product you know that we buy. All the little snack foods and what have you are in the hands of a small group of people. And eventually, food itself, food production will be in the hands of a small group of people. And, you know, we got to stop that. We got to make sure that does not happen. Food is everything. If they control food, they control life. They control everything. It's something that we got to be really mindful of. You know, I try to um, put out as much information as possible. I mean, I'm not going to be doing this forever. This is something I'm not going to be able to do. You know, I have prior, you know, engagements. I have things that I have to do. I have company to take care of and businesses or what have you. So I'm not going to always be around to put videos out. I'm not going to always be on YouTube. You know, I have, I have an idea of what I'm going to be doing in the future. And I know I have a certain amount of time to get out as much DVDs and videos as I can before I stop for a long time. You know, so eventually, you know, I'm not going to be on YouTube. I'm not going to be putting out DVDs anymore, which is why I put out so much because eventually it'll stop and then that'll be that. You know, and, and it's things that I have to go forward and do as far as, you know, progress in my life. Of course, I'm always going to be around to help, you know, people of color, to help my people, help black folks and help, you know, promote unity. So I want to try to get as much information out there. So at least it's out there and it's circulating and people have these DVDs or what have you. 
and um, you know, maybe uh, I'll be able to keep it going if I have the time. I can, you know, put out what I can put out. But I know, you know, I'll be busy and I travel a lot, and, I'm, and the things I have coming up, I'm not going to be able to put out as much as I would like to. But I definitely will still try to um, to when something is important, I will definitely try to come and uh, put out the video. But when I'm done and everything gets out, you know, that'll be it. I'll have the books out, everything will be done, and then, you know, I'll move on. But hopefully by then, you know, I have everything that I have in my head out <laughs> on video or in books or what have you, because there's a lot in there that I want to put out. It ain't gonna be no time soon, but you know, it, it'll be eventually. But um, you know, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch, for making it through the entire video. A lot of people do not watch the entire video, so they miss out on a lot of information and things that I say. I'm starting to notice that more and more. But um, thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Thanks to everybody who's been supporting. And um, I'm always going to be on Instagram, Facebook. You can catch me on there, especially Instagram, where I do respond to messages, to you know, ones that make sense. One of the things I like about Instagram is you can tell who the trolls is. It's easy to find the troll. You can't you can't hide on Instagram. You know, what are you there for? You can tell who the trolls and who the people who just there to uh, you know, be nosy. But um, yeah, appreciate everybody for supporting. And I'll see you guys next video.